All right. We're here in Studio One. We're going to do something a little different today. I have an acoustic guitar. I'm just going to lay down some acoustic guitar tracks and just make a little song, get some ideas flowing, some inspiration going. So let's start. If you haven't recorded an actual audio, like a real instrument, not a virtual instrument, into Studio One, it's super easy. You just plug your instrument into your audio interface and then add an audio track instead of an instrument track. Now, I have my guitar plugged into my input right, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to arm it to record like that. If you want to hear a monitored version, click the blue. If you don't, keep the blue unclicked. Anyway, um, let's set a tempo here. I think I want to do something like ding, 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 ding. Is it actually recording? Two, one, two, three, four. 81, does that sound right? Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it sounds right. All right, so I'm gonna start, start recording. What I wanna do, what I wanna do. Yeah, I wanna start with E minor. Here we go. Too boring. Ooh, I like that. I like that second one I did. So I think it starts right here. Right here. Right there. All right, so I'm just, I basically took the little cross tool and I chopped here and I chopped here. I'm gonna get rid of that piece. I'm gonna get rid of this piece. And I'm gonna bring this all the way to the beginning. Cool. Now, one of the cool things I like to do in guitars is double track them and then pan them left, pan one left and pan one right. So, so let's play, play the same, same thing we did, except we're going to go, we're going to pan them after we're done recording them. So I'm going to turn on pre-count here. There we go. Right, hang on, I dropped, I dropped my pick. Hang on. I got another one up here. Let's try it. Cool. So now I have two tracks. And like I said, I'm gonna pan one left and pan one right. So I'm just gonna pop open the mixer. Let's pan this guy all the way to the left, almost all the way, and this guy almost all the way to right, and we should have a nice broad sound. Like mm, there's something I don't like about this second track. Let's record it again. Very good. All right, now we have one pan left, one pan right. It's got like a stereo-y sound now. Let's add like a little solo thing over it. Let's see. So we're gonna just add another audio track. Input right. This one's going to be right down the middle. And let's do a little bit of soloing. I'm just going to duplicate these just to give me some solo room. And let's see what we can do here. So I like that little last part I did. So I'm going to chop here, and I'm going to chop here, and I'm just going to keep the part I liked, which is this. Let's hear how this sounds.
Now, I don't know if there's like an octaver where I can basically make my acoustic bass. Let's try it. I'm going to record just a bass note, and I'm going to see if there's a way I could octave it downward to make it a more bass sounding. And so we'll have a full song. Let's see what we got here. I like that last one I did. You probably couldn't hear it, but this is what I basically played on the guitar. I'm going to solo it and let you hear it. That's it. All right. Now that we have stuff, I'm going to put the guitar down and just focus in. So give me a second. Jeez, what the crap? Okay. All right. I hate when I have all those cords around me wrapped around. Pain in the butt. Okay. The things I do for you guys, I'm telling you, man. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. Now, I wanted to octave this down. So let's see if there's an effect we can use. I could persona is probably in maybe in a pedal board. There might be a, like a guitar octaver thing we could do. Let's see. Is there a search feature button? Let's just look under O, I guess. There's no O. Well, pitch shifter. Let's try that. Um, it looks like we do some octaves on this. So I'm going to solo the bass track. It's not making any difference. Actually pretty cool this pedal I didn't even realize how cool it was now there is an octaver there but it's it don't sound that good While that's going on, let's add some drums before we lose our inspiration. So um, why don't I bring in Impact? Is my MIDI controller on? No, it is. Let's bring in a kit and add some drums. Let's 60s a go-go. Let's try that. Here we go. Cool, I like it. Let me quantize that, son of a B. And let's just loop this. So. All right, let me quantize that. Now, I don't like that hi-hat, it goes a little too long. And I just don't like it, so I'm, I could actually tweak it inside Impact here. So let's just uh, play the play it again and tweak that hi hat. I 
don't need all that extra cr other crap. I'm going to put a clap in there on every other note too, every other beat. And I'm just going to hear how it sounds and maybe to turn the clap down a little bit just to give it a little subtle clapness. Let's see what we got going. Let's open up the mixer. I'm going to do my little mixer trick so I, I have more real estate down here. I call it the boom, 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 boom. And by hitting those four buttons, I basically opened up a whole a lot more space down here. But what I want to do is I want to start, um, I want to bring in a room reverb and start adding some reverb to some of the drums. So let's just go to room reverb. And I brought that into the mixer as an effects track. Now we have a room reverb effects track. And I'm just going to find the hi-hats. I think they're like here. No, nope, that's that. I want to add them to the reverb. So let's add them as a send to the room reverb. Just a touch. And I want to add the snares as well. Let's hear how that sounds in the mix. All right, why don't we add some vocals now? It's very dry. It doesn't have a lot of effects on the guitars, but let's add some vocals. Let's see if I could sing something fun. Check one, two, check one, two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate that track. Let's try that one now. So let's duplicate that. Cool, cool. So I have three vocals. It's kind of fun. So I want to process these all at the same time. So why don't I take them all? First, let's just chuck them in a folder so they're nice and tucked in to my vocals folder. And then, since I got them all down here and they're all green and they're tucked in a folder, let's select them all and add them to a bus. So right-click on the little waveform here once they're all selected and add a bus for the selected channels. Now, if you don't know what a bus is, I have videos on it. I think, if I don't, comment and let me know that I need to make videos on buses and I'm going to call this the vocal bus and what the vocal bus is going to have is um, well, first of all it's going to go to the reverb and I could EQ the vocals now too actually I could put a whole vocal chain in it why don't I put like a male vocal chain in vocals male pop and let's see how just the vocals sound now A lot of reverb. Let's try it again. Ooh. Ooh. 
they're actually not very good, but when, let's hear how they sound with the whole song. Can't pan them. Can't. some stuff going on here let me just shrink down the mixer just so we have something manageable to work with um but I, I never really went back and fixed the bass so let's see what we got going on with the bass i might actually play it in with a i like it is there a way in studio one to convert something to convert audio to midi is that an option that's available these days? Let's see. Um, normalize, edit, reset, detect, chords, move chords, extract a chord track, no, extract key signature, no. Um, hmm. I thought there might have been a way to do this these days. I don't see it. So I'm probably just going to play in a bass line using, like, let's go and get presence and chuck, chuck presence in right there on that track. Maybe we'll play them both at the same time. Um, but let's just go to, like, bass and maybe, like, um, vintage bass, finger full. I know it sounds a little creepy, but that's what we got. Let's try it. I'm going to record that. All right. Quantize it. I'm going to lower the, the acoustic track. Maybe when they're playing together. Let's EQ the vocals a little bit. Let's hear how that sounds in the mix now.
right, let's see if I can sing a lead now over it. I know I'm just going all over the place, but this is this is how I write music. Hey, phone, chill. Let's see it. <clears throat> all right, so we got here. Where did that go? I made a new track. Check, check. I'm writing a song in Studio One. Okay. I actually like that. It wasn't bad. I'm going to keep it. Let's do a redo. I actually undid it. Redo the record. Check one, two. Someday on my YouTube channel, right? Well, I'm writing a song in Studio One, really having fun. Well, I'm writing a song. Well, I'm writing a song in Studio One, really having fun. I hope you can join me someday on my YouTube channel, right? I'm. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm writing a song in Studio One. Really having fun. I hope you can join me someday on my YouTube channel, right? I'm writing a song in Studio One. Really having fun. I hope you can join me someday on my YouTube channel, right? I'm writing a song in Studio One. Really having fun. I hope you can join me someday. My YouTube channel, right? I'm writing a song in Studio One. Really having fun. I hope you can join me someday on my YouTube channel, right? I'm writing a song in Studio One. Really having fun. I think I'm clipping the audio in the uh, in the recording. I I just realized that now. I'm I'm bad. Anyway, that's all we're going to do today because it's 25 minutes and uh, that's just screwing around in Studio One. Hope it helped you somehow. Bye.